Alright, so I just got to a hotel. This is the lobby. Everybody's pretty friendly. And it's like three minutes from the airport, not even. They have a lot of taxis available and it's pretty nice so far. And it's like 80 degrees, so yeah. Um, this is the casino they were talking about, I guess. I'm definitely gonna spend some money in there and definitely go to the bar. But my room's not ready yet, so um, I gotta wait. But I'm gonna just walk around until it's time for me to get my room. But they got a pool. It's like a little water park. And like I said, it's close to the airport, so. I definitely feel like coming out to the pool or see if there's beach access. But I know it's very family friendly because I see a lot of groups and stuff. I'm gonna wait till I get to my room to change. Oh, I can't wait to get in the water. Hey everyone, so there's music in the background and I don't like taking the chances of having to re-upload this long video. So there's not going to be sound or it's going to be very low and I'm just hoping YouTube won't pick up on it. So yeah, this is me walking by the pool when I first got there. They have this big pool, they have a bar in the pool and then they have a kids section in the back and then I saw like two three other pools that were part of I guess the adults only section or the ocean point I wasn't really sure how you get access but I don't think I had that but this area is big enough for everybody to be comfortably and not have to worry and obviously they have the different depths depending on where you want to swim and stuff but it was a really nice um area They have like little stores where you could get things, cafes. I know there's at least a couple of restaurants that you have access to, like buffets. I actually have swim stuff, but I feel like I might want to buy something. At least the slippers, because my feet are killing me, and I don't know if I'm gonna go um, if I'm gonna go home in these. Let me see. I mean, they kind of like knock off Crocs, but I feel like I might buy one of these, maybe the pink ones or the black ones and wear it home, but I might have to come back down because I feel like I got a lot of stuff to carry. products and stuff you might need. I knew I was smelling food and this guy over here is grilling and then they have other restaurants. So I think um, I'm probably gonna come back and get like a hot dog or something but I wanna keep taking video while I wait. Ugh, I wish I, if I could swim, I would just run straight into the ocean with my clothes on. But, um, so this is one, one of the restaurants. I think they said that some of them have a dress code, but this one seems to be casual. But I definitely need like a frozen drink or something. So. I tried to Alright, so they have the menu for this one. Reminders. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for my rope to get ready. I'm gonna go down there so bad. 
I know they said the other restaurants were over here. I guess I probably gotta walk further down, but I'll go down there later. I mean, I don't wanna walk on a sand in my sneakers, so I think I'm gonna have to wait on that. And I don't even have dressy clothes. I got jeans, um, my bikini and other stuff. So they gonna have to deal with that for my dress coat. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nice view. I'm going to record some other videos here too once I get settled in. I would definitely recommend this place. Like I said, two minutes from the airport. I think this is the place where people watch the planes land. And some crazy people wanted to... Um, wait, let me pause. So I think this was a place where people were standing behind the planes taking off and getting jet blasted like that's some fun thing when it's actually dangerous but yeah I won't be doing that. <laughs> So the food is on point. That burger, so good. I want to get like some wings or something, but I want to wait. I need to go get me a nice frozen drink and go relax. So I booked a gazebo massage. It's such a nice view. Look at the water. Everybody. So, as you see, I'm in a new backdrop, bikini ready. You know, I just finished the massage that I booked. It was great. I feel really relaxed. You got a lot of tension out of my body. So, I'm just here hanging out. I still didn't check in, but I'm going to go do that in a few. But she said I could stay here for a little bit. So, you know, I said, why not? I'll probably record a couple of things before I go check in or I could sneak back over here later because nobody else is coming but I'm really enjoying the experience I realized that they have an adults only section too so if you don't have kids or family you can book that side and I guess it'll be a little bit more peaceful and they have like um, walkouts into like the little pools for each room if you get that one or obviously they'll have the other rooms with different views but I would def definitely recommend for the convenience and you know the hospitality is really good I haven't tried any restaurants yet but I probably will later on because right now I'm not really hungry but I'm just gonna go walk around maybe dip my feet in the pool or the beach over there I'm gonna find my way back there once I put the rest of my things in the um the room so hopefully you guys will like the rest of the video and you know you know stay tuned
Okay, y'all, so I came back from the gazebo where I did the massage, and this is a lobby for the adults only section, I think. So I have to walk all the way back. They got a bar. Literally every entrance has a bar. And I know they have these carts that can pick you up and take you to the front because we're still nowhere near the front entrance. This is like in the back. But yeah, that's the swim up pool that I showed y'all before, or the swim up bar. We're back out here to the beach. So I'm just heading back to my locker to get my stuff so I can go check in. But yeah, everything's pretty well connected. So even though some things could be kind of a walk, it's still worth it to be able to see everything. I just gotta think about what I wanna eat and then if I have to put clothes on again. But y'all saw this already. It's just from a different point of view. Thank you. Good night. So that was me leaving the spa. It was very nice and comfy and relaxing. This is a little seating area. I am walking to my room now. So I'm gonna show you guys in the next clip what it looks like inside the room and then I'll probably head back downstairs. So I'm a bag lady, I got mad stuff in my hands. But this is walking into the room. I got mirrors. This is the bathroom. Decent size, some artwork, nice size bed, couch that could probably be a pull-out bed, more seating, more seating. So there's so much room in here. I need to go to the pool because the sun is going down and I feel like it's going to get cool. But um, yeah, I have a balcony view. I so I have a view of the pool from right here. And I know they said they have live music at the same point. So down there was the lobby and that same walk we took earlier. So but it's still pretty warm out, so I'm still gonna go even though it's getting cloudy. So yeah, I really like this. I'm not even mad that I don't have a beach view because it's literally a walking distance. But, um, yeah, let me cut this off, sorry. So, I finally got my next drink. Um, everybody's nice, and I'm over here forgetting that it's all-inclusive, so I could literally be drinking as much as I want. I don't know what's wrong with me, but, um, I think it's the fact that I came here already tipsy i was like let me not go crazy so i wanted to wait till i ate something but um what i realized is that a lot of the restaurants are closed certain times of the day and then they have a dress code so it's either i'm out here in the pool for a little bit or i gotta go change my clothes to go eat so i said let me come out here before they open up for the next shift and i'll pick one of the restaurants to kind of do a review but I got my drink. He put like some strawberry mango mix with some dark rum in it. It's pretty good. So I'm probably just gonna go take a walk on the beach. I know I saw some stairs somewhere. You guys could walk with me. I'm gonna take the next shot with the other point of view. All right, so I'm walking down. I still got my foot flops on, but whatever. I'm gonna just have to try to rinse them off. All right, so this part is kind of rocky. I should have took the steps the other place. But it's still kind of peaceful. Okay, so I found a little spot to get up to the beach. The water is way colder than I expected. I'm beating up against these rocks, it's a little rough too, so I gotta be careful. Y'all see that, right? And it's still reaching me. I don't know 
what high tide is or whatever but it's already kind of narrow where i'm at but they got a couple hotels along the beach too so there's some options out here and then there's other sides to the island um i think over there is one of the other restaurants i have to see which one that is but i'm probably gonna kind of rinse off and then change so i could go um eat something but i don't really feel hungry so i'll probably get a drink maybe go to the casino and then get something for dinner and then in the morning i have a um a tour of the whole island it's probably gonna be a couple hours so i gotta make sure my phone is charged and ready to get footage but um yeah i like it it's relaxing i enjoyed my spa so i hope you guys are liking it and sorry about the other content because i realized that they were playing music and i know it's gonna be copyrighted from YouTube and I'm probably gonna mention this before I get to this video but I had to end up cutting some of the sound and just talking over it as you have seen okay so I'm trying the Asian cuisine food and this is like right outside the hotel but you got to go upstairs to get to it but this is like the main street so this place is right across the street I think that's the other casino they got another bar and then you gotta take another escalator to go up so I'm gonna keep going because the other one the palm they didn't really have a lot of options so I felt like I want to try Asian food. But this is what it looks like. I'll take a, another video soon. Okay, so I got a mango daiquiri. And I got miso soup. And I also got dumplings for the appetizer. So I'm gonna have this and I'll let you know how everything else tastes. See that steam rising, and then those are the dumplings. Look at that! I don't know what kind of sauce it is, but it tastes delicious. And it's pork dumplings. Sorry for people who don't eat pork, but I wish you did because this is just amazing. Okay, so I just ate at Jane's restaurant. It's like Asian food. And now I'm walking. I, they have like a whole, whole course. It was a lot. Um, I had appetizers. I had, y'all saw the pictures. Y'all saw what I had. I even had the dessert. The chocolate cake wasn't that great. It's just because I guess the type of chocolate that it was tasted different. But with the, it, with the cake being warm and the ice being cold, it was a nice little combination. I feel like this is the casino and I want to go in there just to check. But I'm going to see. Because they got other restaurants like on this strip. Like this is the Village Tavern. This was another one on the list that's open for the guests from my hotel. But I don't see a menu and it doesn't look like they're even open so i'm try trying to see what type of food they got at least i could try something different but it seems safe because everybody's walking around but i think yeah i think i'm definitely gonna go across the street to the casino because i saw the one in the lobby and i showed you guys the picture of it but i didn't know if that was it i'm like how they got like five slot machines and that's <laughs> that's it like i knew that couldn't be the whole thing so this looks like another bar, it's kind of dark, but clearly they got other restaurants. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna head across there and then I'm probably gonna go take a nap. 
because I haven't slept since yesterday. So yeah. $95 on this one so I feel like I should keep playing. I'm gonna cash out just so I can see how much that is. Oh yeah, I think $90. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should keep playing. I think I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I know my room is somewhere up there on the third floor. Probably the one with the open curtains, but this is what it's like at night. Yeah, lights and stuff. I know it's kind of hard to see, but they got live music. I know I saw signs for like karaoke and other things. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on at night. You kind of just got to see what you're into. Because I was at the casino for a couple hours. Lost track of time. I did win as y'all saw. But. It's definitely nice. I'm sorry that I'm yawning you guys. It's just that I haven't slept since. Yesterday. Because I had went out. And I never went to sleep. So. I'm probably going to go lay down soon. Maybe get one more drink before I go up. But, um, yeah, I think this is a great place. I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely come back, maybe with a group of people to really have fun and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut this short here. In the next clip, you're gonna see footage from the tour of the island. And I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, y'all, so this morning I am tired, but I'm also hungry. So I'm gonna go do the, the buffet for breakfast. And then I have a tour in like two hours, but they're gonna come pick me up. So I'm just gonna get my food digested before we go out, cause it's supposed to be like a couple hours. And um, then I'll probably maybe come back to the pool, go back to the beach just relax not much else planned because I knew that was gonna take a lot of time but the next part is gonna be me eating so I'll take a video of like the food options or whatever and I'll let y'all know how that goes all right so y'all already saw me walking past the pool so Ocean Terrace the restaurant where they have a buffet is right over here and this is the same build. I think this is either the other um, ocean um, part of hotel it's like two different places or it might be part of the adults only I'm not sure because it's like two different lobbies but it's a nice breeze and I'm not getting in the sand today because that was annoying to even get off but tomorrow I think I'm gonna come and catch the sunrise because it feels really nice out here and then they have a sign that shows you the distance to different places. If I could get closer, <laughs> I will. But I'm just going to see what they have for the buffet. Alright, so I got a table close to the water because it's a nice breeze over here. So this is a sunrise in the way. It is a little windy today, but it's still warm. outdoor seating area and I'll show y'all inside soon I just gotta walk oh and this is another restaurant this is a pizza place so maybe I'll come find it later I didn't realize it where it was at the restaurants are kind of all over the place but I'm gonna show that to y'all later so let's go see what they got for the buffet and the rest of the seating area so that's where you can sit too we got they have cheese, salami, and 
mascot thing. I'm probably gonna get that. The pastries. This is rust. I just don't want to be filming people. They got cereal. Other things like olives and stuff. More bacon. I'm not even showing you all. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to just show you all my plate in a second. Ooh, sorry, y'all. Okay, so this is what I got. Scrambled eggs. French toast. Um, pancakes, hash browns, bacon, apple juice. The lady got me one and I got myself one too. I'm really thirsty. So I'm gonna just enjoy this view. I feel like the stem bags look a little runny, but let me try them before I start complaining that I don't like it. But yeah, let me enjoy this breakfast. I'm just sitting here and I have this guest joining me for breakfast. I think he wants my food, but I already ate it. And he's getting closer, okay. I don't know if people feed him, but I don't want to do anything. Where are you going? You, want, you can have it, I guess. <laughs> he wants my breakfast, that's what it is. Look at this. I'm not sure even if it's allowed to do this, but I guess I'm done. I I see. This must be unusual for him. <laughs> Go ahead, take it. Take the whole plate. This is so cute. So breakfast was good. Y'all saw my little breakfast date. That bear was so cute. I'm like, he had to be watching me. Because as soon as I put my fork down, he was taking the rest of my eggs. But okay. I didn't want them, so that's fine. So now I'm about to go um, charge my phone. Because I have some time before the tour leaves. And I want to make sure I can make it the whole day. So yeah, I'll do that, change my clothes. Or maybe I'll wear the same thing, I don't know yet. But y'all gonna see the tour in the next clip after this. Kitty. Oh, no, he's off. Unless he wants me to pat him, but I'm not trying to get no please, no offense. So I think I'ma just keep it. Okay, y'all, so basically I didn't even leave yet. I had to wait like a whole hour because they changed the time of the tour. I don't know why, but I was ready to be out so I could herp and come back and just chill at the pool. But now I'm kind of, it's not that I'm stuck because I don't got nothing to do, but I was just expecting to be on the tour already. And then they don't even serve drinks until 10 o'clock. That's my inner alcoholic <laughs> being a little upset, but... It is what it is. So at least by the time I get back, the bars will be open again and I'll just keep working on my tan. But it still should be good because it's just a little windy today and we need it because it's, it's still hot at the same time. But at least I'll get my tan started and then come back to the pool and just chill. I don't really have plans to like party or anything like that. I just want to relax. I already recorded some of the other videos and stuff. But I think, um, yeah, I'm going to just come back and go to the pool. And also to get to the beach, you kind of have to walk around because they have like this private club and they don't want people walking through it. So that's kind of annoying. But I'm not sure if I want to go to the actual beach because the planes are always flying over. That's the same spot. I don't know if y'all ever heard that video. I probably said this already, but if y'all seen the video with the people 
by the water and the plane's taking off that spot is like right there so that's the part where you actually have access to the beach because where I was yesterday was pretty close and not that I felt scared but being that close and it being in such little space to even walk through when those waves rush in because of the rocks and whatever else it could be a little dangerous if you even try to walk down there to get to the other side of the beach and there's no lifeguards on duty so we already know we not about that life but yeah you could kind of see it off in a distance but i think i'm probably gonna try to go up to the, the pool bar since i didn't get to do that um not sure if i'll bring my phone with me because i don't want to drop it i gotta see how deep it is but it shouldn't be that bad to where you can't walk in it but i'm gonna see all right see y'all in a little bit and we're gonna also do uh, very interesting stuff. Now, if anybody's interested in swimming and you didn't bring the bathing suits, it's okay, you don't need it, okay? <laughs> Here in Orient Bay is where we have the, the nude beach, all right? Now, just keep in mind that once you see it, you can't unsee it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it's there, so okay. I'm gonna give you guys the option. Whoever wants to check it out, their bucket list, this is gonna be your chance to do it, okay? All right, here, right here in the Orient Bay. So now main shopping stop is going to be here in Phillipsburg. Anything you might be interested in shopping, souvenirs, t-shirt, jewelry, you're going to get the best deals here in Phillipsburg. Okay, from there, Corolita. Here's where you guys can walk from one island to another. From there, you have the Nude Beach. From the Nude Beach, you go to Marigot, which is the capital of the French side. There you have the best pastries, some of the best local restaurants. Okay, you also have the Fort, Fort Lewis, okay? So we're going to also do another stop here. We're going to be spending more time. These two stops. Okay. See uh, Madonna. Yeah, yeah. Right off the water. Yes, I was uh, Boyos and Hermanos. Chicken Brothers. And if you guys ever saw uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. There's the Boyos and Hermanos. You're gonna notice a lot of casinos. Now all the casinos are located on the Dutch side. There's no casinos on the French side. Through here, so we have to stay on the outside. Like that. That's a serious problem to have. You know your yacht is too big. You do not fit through here. Yeah, those over there you gotta pay the full price. There's no discount on those. here on these sides like these run right here they're not all inclusives but they have all this here in walking distance what makes them you know very popular because they have all this here in walking distance you have the water plant and the electricity plant for the Dutch side so the water is pulled from the ocean it goes through desalination and then that's how we get our drinking water in our homes okay right, this is the first stop it's like a viewpoint about to fall in front of all these people but y'all gonna just see me cut to the next clip of me at the top but. oh shit oh, you guys okay i made it so it's a nice view up here i'm out of breath don't judge me That's where we just 
came from passing all the boats. Lots more footage to come. This is just the first stop that we took. All right, you guys, I made it without busting my ass. So I'm going back now, but we still gotta wait for everybody to come back to the bus. But let me just take a breath and catch this breeze, but I could surely use a drink right now. Hopefully I'll be able to get one when we have our first stop in the next town that we go to. But yeah, it's pretty good so far. Hopefully I put on enough sunscreen. If not, I'm coming back with a crazy tan. I should have worn some shorts, but it's okay. Okay, so we're in Phillipsburg now. So basically, they have all the shopping and stuff. A lot of jewelry stores, food, a lot of things you could probably imagine. So we just get to walk around here for like 30 minutes. So I really don't feel like buying anything because I already got my souvenirs. So I'm just gonna sit down by the water, enjoy the breeze, maybe find like a, a drink or something. If not, I'll wait till we go to the other stops, but yeah, I just feel like relaxing. So he was also saying like those are the water taxis that will take you to other parts of the island. So I'm just gonna record different things on the water and then that's also where the cruise ship will come in so it's like a little port over here I'm not going in the sand because I'm not going to mess up my sneakers but I'm going to pick one of these places and see if I get something to drink Yeah, I'm not gonna record much else from this stop because I want my phone to last for the rest of the day. So, yes, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next part. Welcome yeah. to the French side. My name is David. That is all I know. And just like that, you are in another country. Welcome to the French side. It's French. As you can see, there's no checkpoint, there's no security, and there's nobody waiting for you. So she's starting to. She is starting kindergarten. She knows what the people are. So, like, my brother. If you were here on vacation and you were in kind of COVID and you had a travel insurance, you had the option to come and stay at this resort. Very sweet. At the Oyster Bay Resort.
you guys have some escapees over there on the left. Now, if you want to get you that curry coat, that's two coats. It's right over there. They're going to be careful because once they're out on the open like that, somebody can pass, put them in the car, and take them home for lunch. You know, it's going to be bad for them. <laughs> Here's the people come to walk on water. You can see they walk from one island to another. Okay, so this was the next stop we did after that little shopping stop. This, apparently the water is really shallow here. So like you saw in the video before, there were people actually walking across there. Now, I don't know how much time we have. So I don't think I'll be able to walk across to the other island. But I think this would have been nice if I could have had more time here. But I'm just gonna get as close as I can. They could walk over to is like on the other side but i'll try to get another um angle from over there but the water seems to be pretty shallow and it's so clear you can see everything it's really peaceful i could just take I was talking about if you get closer people are actually walking across there because it's not that deep like I don't know if it's the, you see the lady in the white shirt like the water hasn't went past her knees so that shows you how shallow it is I'm sure it feels very refreshing to are public they must always have access for the public to get to the beach here on the island there's no private beach even the beach where Donald Trump house is located it's also a public beach I want to go see Donald Trump house they cannot really get through the roads but once they get on the beach on the water they can actually see the house yeah, Donald Trump has a house Okay, so we stopped um, on the front side, and it's like a lot of shopping, a lot of, um, what's the, like a flea market over there, and then over, I don't know if y'all see it, back here, that's supposed to be the West Indies Mall. I was thinking about going because we have about like 40 minutes for this stop, but honestly, I might just sit down and enjoy the breeze because I'm starting to feel sleepy, even though I do want another drink, so I might go to one of these restaurants. Also, I'm probably gonna do, I probably did a voiceover already, but y'all already saw the sign for the new beach. We didn't even go in because um, nobody wanted to get off and I wasn't about to be the only one. So yeah, I guess I have to check it off a bucket list another time, but we didn't ha even have to get off the bus before people were already, you know, knew that you could see just from the bar and people were walking around. But um even by that they had a lot of um like airbnbs 
and like stores and things and I already put the picture so I probably explained this already but even in that little community they have a fully new beach then a part where it could just be topless and then a regular beach so it's all kind of connected anyway so even if you didn't want to take it all off it's optional but um I thought that was interesting and if I did come back at least now I know about staying on the French side that's an option that I could probably think about so I could actually be a little bit on a beach so yeah, I think I'm going to pick one of these restaurants to sit down, maybe get an appetizer or just a drink to go. And then probably sit down and wait for the bus. But it's been pretty good so far. Okay, so I got my drink. I already finished it. It was a strawberry um, culotta or something. It didn't even have any strawberry flavor. It tastes like straight alcohol, but it was cool and refreshing. So I'll take it. But um, I'm not big on French food, so it's hard for me to pick something to eat, but I don't even have an appetite. So I think I might wait to eat when I get back to the hotel. Or if I see some place that has like appetizers or something, but I think I'm going to just wait, if anything. I don't know why that guy is screaming, but he looked kind of crazy. So I'm going to probably cross the street. Sorry, I cut that off mad quick. Um, so I just walked through that area behind me. It's like several different um, food spots, but it's mostly Creole food. And I'm not really feeling adventurous today obviously it's nothing crazy but that's not really my cup of tea when it comes to certain food but it just shows you the diversity of what they have here and what you get exposed to there's other restaurants with like um french foods and things and like in the distance you can still see the um the mall from here so i didn't want to go in there because knowing me i'd be tempted to buy stuff and I think I'm done spending money for this trip. I did want to do zip lining, but I have to find out how much it is. Um, so I'm probably gonna try to find out about that when I go back to the hotel. Um, it's probably gonna be like a hundred or something, but I didn't really plan to do it. Like the stuff that I planned, I paid for before I even got here. Cause I like to at least not have to worry about that. But um, yeah, if. If it's reasonable, I might try to do it today. That's if they have appointments. If not, maybe y'all gonna see a part two to St. Martin, cause I like it enough to come back. And they were showing like um, different areas that are being developed, but it was mainly because they had the, the storm. I forget what year it was. It was fairly recent and it kind of devastated certain areas. So people are still rebuilding from that. But at the same time, there are people who are buying property, buying land and building up. Um, I don't have that on me right now, but I have been looking for a place that I would like uh, to have a second home, you know, or some place to go with a vacation home. So I think this could be it, but now I need to manifest the money to do it. So, um, I definitely feel like I would do another trip coming back here, maybe stay on the French side, but considering I'm not really a fan of the stuff that I've been seeing in terms of food. Aside from that area that was near the nude beach, um, I don't know if I would want to stay on this side. I'll probably stick to the Dutch side, but we'll see because we still have a couple more spots to do. But the way my battery is going, I don't know how long that's going to last. So I don't know how much more I'm going to record of the tour, but y'all see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to probably find the bathroom, maybe get another drink and then go back by the bus but y'all gonna see whatever other footage that I get. Okay, so I found a Dominican spot and I just got some chicken strips because I was starting to get my appetite back. It's a little chewy, so it tastes kind of different, but it's still good. I would have got more, but we gotta go back to the bus now. So I just wanted something quick to snack on. So I'll probably see where we stop next to get another drink. Oh, yeah, you might as well have a 
Island decided to have open borders. You can see the flags on the top. You have the Saint Martin flag, the Dutch flag, the French flag, and the Union flag. Huh. And then, uh, yeah. yeah, just like that, here we are. You can get a good picture from there. But I don't know if you guys can notice that Saint Martin is spelled different on each side. Yeah. Yeah, each side spells it different. This side you have Martin. If anybody wants to get a better picture of sign, oh, okay. so if the bridge where people come to put the locks on the heart and then they throw over the key. Oh, you know, which represents yeah. you have locked your lock down. Carry the hearts. So now if you separate from the person, you're supposed to dive down, get the key, come back to the top and remove the lock. Or you can always get a bolt cutter and remove the lock. So I have four locks there, I just left mine. <laughs> Okay, so that last stop was the end of the tour. So I feel like it was good. It wasn't as long as I thought it would be. I feel like I already see my tan and I'm about to go switch to my bathing suit. So um, I did want to check if I could do the zip lining, but I feel like you have to book that stuff in advance the same way I did with this tour. But it can't hurt to ask if anything, like I said before, that means it's gonna be a part two St. Martin trip. So I could do the zip lining from that big hill that I showed y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm sad because I tried and they told me that it wouldn't be enough time for me to do the zip lining and still make my flight because you know I still would have went and went straight to the airport if I could. But um, I guess it's more than four hours or whatever. So it's definitely going to be a part two. So now back, ready for the pool. I think I want to go to the pizza place. So I might pass by there first and then come back this side. to do the zip lining but it's okay it's okay i had a good time the tour guy was nice and everything's been pleasant so far so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you out in a little bit okay so i came just to see what they have in the um the buffet for lunch they have different foods and options but i'm not really seeing anything that stands out fruits, vegetables, toppings. Apparently got like oxtail, rice and peas. I didn't really look at it, but um, I know they kind of serve you just for sanitary reasons. But I think I'm gonna go with the pizza. So as y'all can see, I already have my two slices. This is the second trip. That's how they get you, because these slices are cut up small, so it makes you feel like you're not eating much. But I feel like if you put this together, that's that's one real slice, at least where I'm from. But listen, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to just eat as much as I can today, since I can't sign up for anything else at this point. And, yeah. 
I'll definitely recommend the, the pizza. Alright y'all, so I just had my pizza. I feel better. Um, it looks like it's very choppy today. Like looking at the waves. Cause y'all see over, where is it? Over there by the steps. That's where I was at yes, yesterday. Like I wouldn't even try to go over there now. The waves, things are rushing in. And look, another plane landing. But yeah. If I want to walk all the way over there to where those people are to say that I actually went to the beach, even though I did, but I feel like that's more of the beach area than where I was in that little corner. And I'm not trying to get washed away right now, so it's really just trying to enjoy the views. Just look at the color. I already got a tan just from being out earlier, so now I'm like trying to pull my shorts up so I can get it other places. <laughs> so we'll see. Definitely gonna go get another drink though. I feel like I gotta make the most of the day. But I really like it here. I'm gonna come back. We'll see how soon that is because I wanna figure out how I can record the footage for the zip line without having my phone. I don't have a GoPro, but I'm gonna see. I feel like they could at least take pictures or something. Okay, that's all I gotta say. I don't know if there's gonna be much else, but if there is, it'll be after this. If not, it'll be a little trip wrap up because I don't have anything else to post. So I'm gonna see y'all guys later. One thing I would say is I love the tour, but seeing that they had the ATVs, I feel like I would have liked to do that but also at the same time I don't think they were given as much information and I don't know if they make the same stops as well so it's kind of hard to say which one would have been better but who knows maybe maybe when I come back I'll do ATVs anyway considering I already did the main tour on the bus but I'm sure there's other options too. But yeah, there's a lot of private planes that land over here too. And they also mentioned that on the French side, that they have a smaller airport and they can't handle the bigger aircraft. So most of them would land on the Dutch side, which is over here that you guys can see. Okay, so y'all just saw me show you a menu from another restaurant that's on the grounds. It's like right behind me. And they have like the lights and stuff. I, can't, I don't think you can see it. They have like the lights when it gets later. It looks really nice. It seems like it's mostly an Italian menu, but it doesn't have a big selection. So I thought about coming there for dinner, but I don't know. I feel like worst comes to worst, I'm gonna go back to the Asian cuisine that I had yesterday. Cause I don't know if there's even any more restaurants left to choose from. I mean, besides the two that were next to the Asian restaurant, like the tavern, I feel like it'll just be like burgers and stuff and I feel like I should at least had one meal that was kind of Caribbean to you know really embrace the culture which I already know but you know just to say that I had it while I was out here because I could have got me some oxtail or something from one of those street vendors but I didn't realize that was the last stop so I didn't get anything to go like, besides the chicken fingers but um I guess I'm gonna walk around and think about what I wanna have for dinner. I know for breakfast, I'll come back to the same place and get the, the buffet. And since I don't have to rush and try to do the zip lining, then I know I could just sit here and take things in or just go to the airport and chill there. I just wish I had an earlier flight. So that's the only thing to take into consideration if you have a, um, a early checkout and your flight is later in the day, you gotta, you know at least have somewhere to put your bags and still relax or go to the airport which is still under construction as you guys but i don't know if i've recorded it but i know that's something that he told us on the tour at least for the um the front side if, but that's really for the smaller planes so i think you wouldn't really be affected as much but the Dutch side is still doing construction too i just know it's more on the arrival side because where we entered in they gave us steps it wasn't a jet bridge and then we had to walk to where they're doing customs and it, 
it just felt like they're still in progress which makes sense because of the storms and stuff that they're still rebuilding from because you could you imagine your whole airport gets messed up after having some weather event and then you have to be evacuated and you can't even live in your home for a year plus so it just goes to show like you know you gotta be grateful for things and you know to be able to come here and experience stuff without the stresses of that you know makes you think but now i'm gonna try to see if i can either dip in the pool um but yeah i don't think i'm gonna have much more footage after this because everything that i planned was already done now but i'm gonna just keep drinking until i feel too tired to drink and yeah thank you guys for watching again i'm gonna keep repeating myself but I'll see you guys later for the, the whole wrap up. Okay, so remember how I was saying how they have the adults only section? And then I think that I know is the Ocean Point Fitness Center. And that's the main building. So it's just to show that you're going to see two, I think there's two names because it's two separate buildings for the Maho Resort, the Sinesta Resort. So just kind of be mindful when you're booking it. This is the one that I was in. And then this is the Ocean Point check-in area. Like you can check in in the front, but then they'll still take you here, which is the, the main building to go up to the rooms. So just some other things to take into consideration. Okay, y'all. So y'all can say I made it to the pool. This is gonna be a short clip because I copyrights and they got music in the background, but I'm here. <laughs> so I got this rum punch and she made it with spiced rum. It's really good. I'm gonna keep this short though, cause the music in the background. Drink. Just left the pool. Sex on the beach. Really good. I think it's um cranberry juice and orange juice. And I don't remember what else they put in it, but it tastes good. And I got a hot dog and burger. That's my go-to for sure. It's been really good. So I'm gonna enjoy this, relax, and maybe go wash up, cause I was in the pool for a minute and just relax i haven't really slept today either so i want to be outside as long as i could get a tan and then i'll just go lay down if anything okay so i just ate i'm ready to take a nap honestly so i think i'm gonna go inside take a shower get out of this swimwear whatever um, I might go back to the casino. I'm not sure because I'm trying to leave here with at least some money in my pocket. But yeah, I think I'm going to just rest for the rest of the, the night. Same thing with tomorrow because I can't do the zip line and catch my flight. So this is probably going to be the end of the video. So I had a good trip. I think... Um, I'm definitely coming back to do the zip line. I just don't know if it's going to be this month or next month. But y'all will see a part two. And yeah, this was nice. I'm sad I got to go back to cold weather. But I'm going to just try to soak this in while I can. And yeah, St. Martin will be seeing me again. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired, motivated to do whatever you can to travel. Life is too short to not have fun anything is possible if you just believe all right i'll see y'all later okay so i definitely got a tan because okay don't judge me my edges are a mess but you could probably already see oh shit you could already see my forehead this line so yeah it looks like i got a tan I feel like in the morning, I'm going to just get up whenever sunrise is and try to get the rest of my forehead even. <laughs> but I'm honestly tired. 
I've been drinking nonstop from the bar to the restaurants. I just had another cheeseburger and um, oh, what did I have? A hot dog. That was good too. The way they season it or whatever, it's not bad. So I think I'm honestly just gonna take a nap or something. I don't even have the strength to go back out because I didn't like the other restaurants, like what they offered. So I feel like I probably won't eat. I'm just hoping I could go to sleep and then just wake up and it'll be tomorrow morning. But I don't know, because I wanted to do zip lining, but they said it was going to be like four or five hours. And the only start time they had was like um, 11. So the guy was like, oh, don't even bother because you're not going to make your flight. Or it could be really close depending on how things go so that means i gotta come back here to do it which i don't mind because i like it i like it enough to come back like this is probably one of the top places i've gone so far but yeah i'm glad i came here uh i can't tell if my legs are tanned but whatever okay everybody so this is the last night what i'm about to do is get another drink from my favorite spot and I'm gonna go to the casino and play the money that I won from yesterday see if I get lucky if not call it a draw and you know just relax so the pool's already closed it's like almost six o'clock or after six but it still has a nice little vibe, little mood to it. I'm not even hungry, so I'm just gonna get another drink, like I told y'all. And then maybe later I'll see what's still open by the time I get back over here. Okay, you guys, I'm back at my favorite machine. I want more money. Let's see. This is my lucky slot machine, so I keep coming back to the I started with 10 and I won like 20 and I just won again. I'm trying to see how much that's going to be. Yeah, whenever you see this, that means you're about to lose some money. that grand prize y'all but I, I don't know I'm trying to manifest it but let's we'll, we'll see okay so we just won $20 from that but I'm gonna keep going we, I'm gonna keep affirming that I win I mean I have been winning so it's working but I need to be specific and get that grand prize at least I gotta walk out of here with something so I think that's about $12, 12 but we'll see Keep going. So, yeah, what, however that math adds up, I think it's because I got the two cents, so it doubled. But yeah, I really still don't even know what I'm doing, but I've been winning here and there with this machine, so I could, I could deal with this. <laughs> okay, so I won again. Let me see what this big one is.
let's keep going. Let's go for that next prize. Okay, so that was about $50. I think it's because I doubled the game, but I'm not complaining. Still trying to get this grand prize. Something is better than nothing, but I'm still here playing with the money that I've been winning with. So we'll see if I sorry, we'll see if I go home with that. Okay, so that was about forty dollars. That's not bad. I guess it's like twice as much because I have it on the two cents thing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay y'all, so I just left the casino. I was, I'm not even hungry, but I just wanted to eat because I feel like I'm gonna wake up starving, so I should get something. So I came back to the Asian spot because that's the only place that I had here for dinner that I actually enjoyed. And I feel like other stuff is closed and I didn't feel like walking out on the strip outside. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do the dumb things again. I'm gonna try the California roll and also sweet and sour pork with the noodles. So y'all gonna see a picture of that next. And I'm getting a Bahama Mama for my drink. So when everything comes, I'll take videos, pictures, whatever. And y'all gonna see that right after this. Then after that, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, tomorrow, the checkout is way earlier than my flight. So I have to decide if I'm gonna stay here or go to the airport and wait there. But they said I could leave my bags and hang out. So we'll see what I decide to do. Okay, so appetizers, I think I got California roll and pork dumplings. These are good, I had those already. This I didn't have yet, but I'm gonna try it with the different sauces. Okay, so this first sauce is a little bit of spicy. This one is kind of cool compared to that, and I think this is almost like a soy sauce, but I like the way they taste. I also got my Bahama Mama. So I'm going to feast on this a little bit and show y'all when I get the, the main course that I ordered. So the next thing is a noodle and sweet and sour pork. I like the noodles so far. I didn't try the pork yet, but it looks good. Let me take a bite. Okay. I feel like the pork is a little dry. Like it could be better. But I'm probably still going to eat it anyway because it's free. But yeah. Yeah. I think I'm done. I mean, I ate most of it, but the meat was not it. The pork, I've never had pork that was so dry. But I had enough to absorb what I drank at the casino at least because I had like a, um, I don't remember what I had. I had like three different drinks there and I'm drinking this Bahama Mama which I'm probably going to finish if I can't take it to go but I wouldn't recommend the pork but I think I took video of the, the beef that I ate yesterday but like I said when I finish editing my video together you can watch the whole thing or skip through and try to find the parts with the food or whatever but it's not that much because I had burgers hot dogs stuff like on the resort and I tried like a pizza spot that was good I tried a buffet for breakfast that was okay it's hard to ruin breakfast to be honest but um yeah I feel like I didn't have a lot of island food though 
so I would definitely have to look for those spots later on. But I would definitely come back. Like, I might come back to Washington if we could plan something. But um, yeah, I still had a good time. It was nice out here. Okay, you guys, good morning. I know I look so tired, but it's early and I'm hungry, so I came to get my last breakfast. And then I'm gonna go sit down somewhere because my flight's late afternoon. But yeah, I'll probably eat the same thing I did yesterday, so I'm not gonna record anything, but I'll record something when I'm walking around in the airport, if anything. Okay, so. I decided to take a video, only because you guys should see this. The sea is starting to get rough because today they're gonna have some thunderstorms, but I'm gonna be out of here before that starts, so I'm glad for that. But you can see, you can see all the waves. I could even feel the water, like it was getting up on the side too. Flashing up really high. Now I just another one. All right, just finished breakfast. So like I was saying, y'all saw the clips of the water. Yeah, there's definitely a storm coming tonight and all day tomorrow is supposed to be thunderstorms. So that's something to look out for. But the thing is, um, one of the staff, she was saying she never seen it this rough. It, even when they had the, the hurricanes that completely destroyed so many things and really impacted the people. So that's kind of crazy to to hear but hopefully they'll be okay i'm sure they'll be fine but i know how it is when it's just raining all day long so i can only imagine being on an island i would honestly be scared especially when hurricanes have been a thing but i'm sure they're gonna be okay but for my sake i had to make sure i was out of here before that which is definitely why you gotta plan ahead and check the weather because that stuff could come up at the last minute like even when i was looking a couple days ago it was showing that yesterday monday was going to be um a thunderstorm but by the time i got to the trip it um it was all sunny all day and that was lucky for me because it was the day where we had the tour outside so that would have sucked but even though we were on a bus we just wouldn't have been getting off i guess but i wouldn't even have want to do it if that was the case and here go another plane i don't know if y'all can see it the trees are probably in the way it should be coming in soon yeah there it is I'm not gonna miss that <laughs> I guess it's not as exciting to me as it is to some people but um, it's still not too distracting like they pass by periodically but it wasn't anything that I was really paying attention to but definitely got to come back for zip lining and a couple other activities like the ATVs and stuff so yeah I think that would be cool to do now nah, I just gotta watch the weather for that but there's gonna be a part two like I said before I know I be getting repetitive because sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna record and then by the time I get to it I'm like oh did I say that already but whatever I feel like y'all still get the gist of what I'm trying to say because it would be boring if I just did videos with no sound and just a voiceover even though I had to do that for some of the clips when they had the music by the pool because I don't want no issues with anything getting taken down or when I'm uploading they usually check for that but that's the only thing I gotta be more mindful of but I really just turned the sound down on some of those and had the the music going hopefully it wasn't too annoying but I feel like that's easy not to have the copyright issue because they give you that free music when I'm editing so but yeah I think I'm just gonna go back to the room and maybe lay down or something because I still got time to check out and I don't know if I want to stay but 
I just mean, I don't know if I want to stay here for like two hours before I go to the airport or just get it over with. I think I might just go. So I'm going to probably pack my stuff and um, head there. Hopefully uh, they got some food or something in the airport because I know the trip is going to be short getting back. So I think this will probably be the last video on the resort. And then the next video is my wrap up walking in the airport like I usually do and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely come to St. Martin even if you don't stay here they got plenty of options if you like a nude beach that's your thing they got a whole bunch of bed and breakfast and resorts on that side too on the French side of course they would have a nude beach but but yeah there's a lot of places that you can stay just do your research for what you want to do what you find fun in You'll definitely find something for anybody. So I bought these. My feet hurt, so I wore that to the airport. And then, you know, I had to get this shirt because it basically describes me. <laughs> okay, so I just got through security. It's pretty quick, I guess, because not that many people are leaving yet. But there's not a whole lot going on in terms of stores and things. But I already got Ooh. some souvenirs, so... I'm just gonna walk around. I have a lot of time to kill, so I'll sit down and read or something. Um, but yeah, I think it's still good morning, construction. So. Here, so I still like the airport overall. Um, yeah, I would definitely say, like, um, they were talking how departures is. I guess it's more completed than the arrivals because it was a lot smoother. Security is small, but I feel like even if it was a lot of people, they would still be able to get it in a timely fashion because things are moving. So I definitely agree the arrival process was a bit much because we didn't have a gate. We had to use the stairs and then they took us on a bus that literally drove in a circle and dropped us off. I'm like, I feel like we probably could have walked over there, but they have their reasons for whatever they do. And you could tell the um, the customs area was an older space. So I don't know if they're gonna redo that or leave it as it is, or probably work on it after everything else is done. But um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, I wish I could take a nap. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I wish I could go to sleep right now, but I have to wait a few hours at least. Um, yeah, my flight doesn't leave for like another four won't start boarding for like another four hours. I told myself I need to leave because if I go back to that bar, it's gonna be over. I mean, I, I wish I did, but at the same time I don't. Cause if I got too messed up, I don't like feeling sick on a plane or having to use a bathroom a lot and all of that stuff. So I'd rather just sober up for today. Maybe I need to be drinking water all day because I haven't had any since since I've been here and probably since before I left anyway. But yeah, when I go home, I'm going to put this all together and you'll see the finished product. And I'll try to cut out places where I was repetitive if it if it works. And if not, y'all just have to deal with it. And I got to get better with what I'm going to say. Like I don't like to plan stuff, but at least I know when I'm taking y'all on tours you're already aware of what's gonna happen so yeah i kind of like this whole vlogging thing i wish i could be getting paid to stay places but we're gonna try to manifest that and see like if i could get paid to come review these resorts and stuff i would definitely do it but until my channel gets so it takes off you know this is what we have to do and i'm still doing it for fun so Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it, getting to live the experience if you're not able to or even get motivated. Just realize that if you look it up and you feel like you can't afford it, I feel like in a way everything is affordable if you plan ahead and you budget because you don't have to get the most expensive room or you could find cheaper places to stay and still just spend most of your time outside the room. But if you want to do something nice for yourself, just trust me, you're worth it. You deserve it. Just plan, even if that means you got to wait six months to do it. Um, anything is possible. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here. All right, see y'all later. Bye.